so before we launch the vpc we have to understand the what resource we are going to uh, use in this uh, session so uh, first of thing uh, we will understand this uh, complete uh, diagram of vpc so the main circle of um, sorry main the square bracket is uh, completely represent the vpc and vpc having the different subnets so vpc uh, as we discussed that vpc is the isolation of your network so this is the vpc and you when you create vpc you have to give the vpc with the cidr block so you have to pass one range of ip uh, for vpc so here we will uh, give the uh, 10.0.0. .0 .0 0 uh, 16 network so we will pass this uh, network for the vpc and in this network we will create the different subnets so in subnet you can see there are the th three basically bifurcation we have created that's a uh, based on the availability zone that's a us east uh, one a one b and one c so this is the availability zone you can uh, define the your subnet with mapping of your ability zone so this is the mapping and uh, we i have created the uh, two subnets in each ability zone one is the public one is the private so uh, how do you define the public subnet and private subnet that we will see in the practical session but the public subnet you can conceptually some understand that public subnet will be uh, uh, Go, go through traffic to the internet gateway and where private subnet we have not uh, consider as a uh, uh, routing uh, with the internet gateway so you want to make the bifurcation where the the sum of uh, subnets could not go to the directly the internet that's only required for the private communication and some of subnets require the internet communication where you can assign your uh, public subnet to the internet gateway that we'll see later in this uh, session so here three subnets one is one two and three are public where the private having the c sub three subnets so we have made this and created one internet gateway uh, and uh, apart from internet gateway subnet we have created the uh, routing table and routing table uh, there is the one routing table called the public routing table and public routing table having the mapping with the all public subnets so as you can see the public subnets are there and subnet uh, mapping with the routing table and routing table having the route rules that all the traffic from the any of source will go to the internet through internet gateway so routing uh, for the public subnets uh, go through the internet gateway and uh, from the internet gateway, it will go to the internet. Same way, private subnet don't uh, consider as a uh, uh, passing the traffic through the internet gateway. But in some case, we require the uh, controlling uh, traffic, so we use the net gateway. So how net gateway works? Uh, net gateway will, uh, works. So net gateway will works uh, same as internet gateway, but it will no, it will not directly allow the input traffic so that you have to manually uh, yeah, enable and it will be more secure comparatively uh, internet gateway so net gateway will having the same concept uh, uh, like uh, internet gateway that you have to create the uh, subnet uh, routing table and you have to associate the routing table and the net gateway will uh, uh, terminate one uh, subnet having the public subnet and the traffic of net gateway will go through the elastic ip so you have to assign elastic ip to the net gateway and all traffic of net gateway will pass through the elastic ip uh, both having the same configuration uh, but having the different uh, set of rules that let's see in a session so i'm going to the my uh, console and uh, here i have uh, written the script uh, let's go to the uh, visual uh, proper visualization for the gate where I can explain the script so here I am going to the my uh, Terraform AWS VPC so this is a completely demo section of the Terraform tutorial so in tutorial I created the AWS VPC so I am opening the all these uh, files so starting from the VPC TF okay so what vpc tf will be doing the vpc tf will be uh, creating the vpc so you can see the vpc we have given the configuration for the cidr the range of uh, latency uh, by default is default 
a host name i have made the enable uh, dns support also enable and the classic link so classic link i have made the disable so not required in a demo section but you can see that cidr block so i just uh, want to open my variable file so you can see what information i pass so cidr i have given the 10.0.0.16 latency default host name true and uh, dns support is true uh, classic link given the false and that given the tag is custom vpc demo so we can identify once it's get created so i'm closing this uh, two files um, opening the public subnet file so what public subnet file do it's create the subnets you can see the public subnets one two and three so what information is carry is carry the vpc id which we creates and it's having the cidr block so what this public subnet having the ip range subnet so you can see the again the 24 network for cidr block that's a network so here i have in the 1.0 for public subnet 2 2.0 and public subnet 3 having the 3.0 24 networks so this is the uh, public subnets creates let's go for the private subnet So private subnet having the same as the public, but we have assigned the mapping of public IP launch on false. So that is on in the public subnet, but here private subnet having the we made the mapping of public IP having the false. So it will not map to the public IP. Rest is the common that's a CIDR block I have given the 4.0, 5.0, and 6.0. Let's move further. So public subnet uh, created, private subnet created, VPC created. After that, we will create the internet gateway. So internet gateway will require the VPC ID in which VPC you want to make the create the uh, internet gateway. So here the small script that's a VPC ID. Now internet gateway is created. Now uh, time for the routing table. okay so here we will create the first route table such a route for the public i have given the vpc id for the route and the cidr block for the routing table so this is source ip it will pass through the gateway this gateway id so all my traffic from the 10.0.0 will pass from the 10.0.0 will pass through the gateway id is the internet gateway now i made also made the uh, association for the uh subnet to the uh, route table so the route table is aws route table route uh, route hyphen public so this is map here for the all public routing so you can see the subnet id and routing table so now the routing table is done internet gateway is done uh, subnets also done uh, one more thing is remaining is the net gateway so basically that's combination of net gateway and uh, internet gateway won't be work at a time but i have taken the example here so you can understand the difference between the internet gateway and net gateway so let's move so for net gateway we have to create the elastic ip so i've created the elastic ip over here you can see so after elastic ip created the net gateway net gateway is allocation for the elastic ip so for net gateway traffic will pass through the elastic ip it's attached to the net gateway subnet id i have passed the public ip and it's depend on the internet gateway so basically it's combination of the internet gateway and net gateway that's why we are given the de uh, depends on uh, the next is the routing table it's the private routing table i have created and it assigned the same network on the 10.0.0 but traffic pass to the net gateway and net gateway will be uh, passed through the elastic ip and the rest is the uh, routing table association that subnet association to the routing table so but here we private subnet will be assigned to the private routing table so you, you can see here the subnet id is private id and the routing table is a private routing table so we have done with the vpc public network that's a subnet private subnets then internet gateway then route table and routing association rules same way net gateway routing table private routing table 
and routing association rules with the net gateway and net gateway will be communicated through the elastic ip so let's go to the console and run the script so i'm running my script terraform apply so i'm running my script in us east one that's north virginia So Terraform is creating the resources. You can see here the details of the resources which are getting created. So let's wait for a while till the resources are uh, created. So all resources gets created. So let's go to the console and let's verify what the resources are created. So I'm going to do the console and let's go. So you can see here is one VPC over here. Uh, just refreshing over here. Okay, so you can see there are two VPC. One is the default that is 172, but that's a VPC custom demo is created with the VPC ID and this is a or block for our new VPC. So this is information for DSCP option set, the main route table, the network SCL and the tenancy. Default VPC, it's not so classic link we have made the disable. So this is the information for the VPC you can see here. DNS resolution is enabled, DNS hostname is enabled. So this is my VPC which created we have done. Uh, let's go for the subnets. So we have created a total six subnet. You can see here the six subnet is here. That's a public one, two, three and private one, two, three. So the sequence is not exactly what we require, but uh, all six uh, subnets get created. Let's go for the routing table. So there are two route table mainly created that you can see that's one is a public one is a private so let's go for the private a uh, public first so in public you can see the uh, association for the uh, public subnets you can see the public subnet should be associated with the uh, public route table so you can see the public one public two and public three these uh, three subnets are association with the uh, public route table so what route we have added we have added the route is a 0 dot uh, 10 dot 0 dot 0 should be traffic to the locally and 0 dot 0 to the go through the internet gateway so you can see all the traffics go to the internet gateway through the internet gateway so what's the internet gateway is created let's see so this internet gateway is created uh, in our uh, code through so this internet gateway is created those uh, vpc id this is a new vpc id you can see here you can map with the VPC custom VPC demo. So this internet gateway added in the routing table you can see here. Okay, let's go for the public IP. Public IP having the routing for the net. You can see the all traffic of net route through the net gateway. And the association of the uh, pri private uh, route table is the private uh, subnet. So let's see, this is the private one, two, three and where is the net gateway so let's click over here for the net gateway so this is the net gateway it assigned the elastic ip you can see here elastic ip that's we have uh, created the first in our script and let's go to the elastic ip i'm clicking on the elastic ip okay so this elastic ip is uh, uh, allocated in the uh, uh, elastic ip uh, uh, created and we can do the associate and deassociate from here but we want to because we have created this resource through the terraform that we will destroy using the terraform only so uh, we have created all the uh, required resources for uh, deploying our next uh, ec2 instance so just quick recap we have created the subnets uh, internet gateway public subnets private subnet routing table and association with the routing table we also created an elastic ip net gateway and the private routing table so let's uh, understand how to deploy ec2 instance in a uh, specific vpc so we will see in the next session